Hi, and welcome to more scary stories told by the Rainbow Kids. Two sisters were spending the summer at their grandparents' house. When the sun was shining, they had plenty of fun, swimming in the lake, exploring the woods, and playing all sorts of games in the gardens. However, one week, towards the end of their stay, it did nothing but rain. The girls had played board games, read books, made things with their craft supplies, and now they were bored. The grandparents' house was large, and the girls thought it would be an excellent place for a game of hide-and-seek. The younger sister wanted to hide first, so she ran off to find a hiding place while her sister covered her eyes and began to count to 100. The older sister heard her younger sister's footsteps running up the stairs and along the hallway to the back of the house. After reaching 100, she opened her eyes and went in search of her sister. She went into every room. She looked under the beds and in the closets, even behind the curtains and behind the doors. But her sister was nowhere to be found. Finally, she reached the only room their grandparents had told them never, ever to enter. She reached out and grasped the doorknob, turning it slowly and pushing the door open. Much to her surprise, the room was empty. The only item was an old, tall, carved wooden wardrobe covered in cobwebs, but the door was slightly open. The girl ran over laughing and swung the door open expecting to find her sister. But the wardrobe looked empty. She leaned in, and as she did, a cold, icy hand reached out from the back of the dark wardrobe and grabbed her wrist. She let out a scream and tried to escape, but the hand started to pour into the wardrobe. The girl's sister heard her screams and ran to find out what had happened. She entered the room and looked on in horror as her sister began to disappear into the wardrobe. Luckily, the little sister was quick thinking. She ran towards the wardrobe and grabbed her sister's legs. After a brief tug of war, she managed to pull her sister out of that wardrobe. And the two girls ran from that room, slamming the door behind them. That story happened 20 years ago this week, and to this day, they never knew that it was the girl's grandfather hiding in the wardrobe who was pulling her in. But he is dead now, and I guess they will never know. <laughs>